Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's nice. Let's start. My goodness, who's Paola Iglesias? Just one name and one last name. Uh, make sure that you have two names and two last names. Remember that is something very important, right? To have the attendance and the, the track that you were in the class. So Paola Iglesias is just one name and one last name. So then the rest, you are good, okay? So amazing, nice, ready? And uh, let's start, let's start. I know it's it's not easy, right, to have classes every single day. Now that we are from Monday to Friday, normally this uh, program is just four dates a week, right? So from Monday to uh, Thursday, but since we have like a long uh, weekend because of the uh, vacations, right? So that's why we are having these classes the whole week, right? From Monday to, to Friday, but it's good, it's good, okay? The idea is that you need to be in contact with the language, that that, uh, that will be the, the best uh, thing, right? You know, be in contact, try to listen, try to see, try to read, try to understand English, because that's what you need, practice, practice and practice, right? So, um today is uh the new week right so today is the beginning of the new week right so today that will be the third week so that means that we have 50 percent for the attendance right so in this uh, new week i guess we already receive a message from the admin people right about the uh, activities that we are going to be working in this uh, third week okay remember this uh, third week will be ending on the next uh, next monday right so next monday it's the um um, it's the due date, right, for the third week. And we will see the last four dates. That will be the last uh, week, right, the fourth one. So we have a message right here about comprobante de entrega de manual educativo. Buen día, por este medio nos es grato solicitar de su valiosa ayuda en el envío del comprobante del manual de acuerdo a los lineamientos establecidos por INSAFOR. Solicita completar su nombre completo, número de duda y firma del formato adjunto y enviarlo en formato PDF. Adjuntamos formato para que pueda descargarlo, imprimirlo, firmar y, y enviar a más tardar sábado 12 de agosto para hacer constar que ha recibido su manual educativo descargable y todos los accesos correspondientes a la plataforma. So, you have a link right there, that is the, 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 the document, right, the comprobante de manual. Y el due date que nos han enviado es para el sábado 12, se lo puede mandar mañana. Perfecto, ¿verdad? Lo puede enviar el viernes, excelente, no espere el último momento para usted hacerlo, o sea, ya, este, ya usted sabe que es su pase uh, para inscribirse al siguiente módulo, entonces ellos van archivando, van ahí actualizando su expediente, por favor, mándenlo, ahí mandaron este mensajito ahora en la mañana, ok, so, si ya lo mandó, qué bueno, si no lo ha enviado, pues, Descárguelo, búsquelo, llénelo, firmelo, imprímalo, yo no sé cómo es que hacen. Este, lo firman y ponen sus datos, le toman la captura y lo mandan como formato PDF. Ok, so, ese mensajito tenemos. Entonces, eh, what else is important for you to, um, for you to know? It's that we are in the third week, right? So, tercera semana del módulo, se supone que usted está iniciando a trabajar en la sección 4 de la plataforma y le van a exigir por lo menos el 50% de la sección 5. Si usted la puede terminar toda, excelente. Así la otra semana usted solo se dedica a terminar el final quiz. Sorry, el final examen. That's it, right? So, nunca deje todo así como para último momento. Yo se lo he dicho desde el primer día. Trate usted la manera de lo posible de ir adelante de lo que le están pidiendo. 
para evitar pues que aparezca irse entre los más buscados del grupo, ¿verdad? Que no, que no esté al día. So, uh, that, those are commercials, news updates that you need to know, okay? So, and that you need to be aware, right? No se vale que diga, a mí no me dijeron, yo no sabía, no me di cuenta, right? So, please do your part, be responsible with those uh, teams that you need to take into account. And uh, let's continue, okay? So, we are going to start where we stop Yesterday, I need to pass the attendance, but first, let's see Claudia Yesenia. How are you, Claudia Yesenia? How you feel today? Good evening. Um, not too bad. It's really hot here. And it is. Oh my yeah. goodness, you have a cat in your back. My God. <laughs> yes, her name is Venus. Venus, so it's a, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. I guess like two days ago, it was the cat uh, day, right? So I don't know. I saw some pictures about cats and everyone taking picture with the cat, right? So I don't have a cat. That's why I didn't post any picture about cats. But I saw, I saw many friends that there, uh, there was a cat day. Mm, I didn't so, know. Yeah, it was like two days ago. I guess it was on Monday. I don't know. So it is a cat date, okay? It is out of the world, I guess. So um, all over the world, I'm sorry, all over the world. So there is a dog day as well. So idea de todo, right? So nice. Uh, let's see, Ileana Maria, what about you? How are you? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, nice. Uh, Maria, ready for the class. What about yes. you, Jorge Mauricio? Now you have your camera on. Nice to see you, Mauricio. I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, very nice. Very good. So uh, let's uh, start. We are, uh, now we are 2019 participants. Ya vinieron varios. And uh, we are going to start. Uh, let's see, we are going to start with the attendance. Just let me move on right here from this uh, page into the other one that it's the attendance. And uh, like always, you know that you need to answer, right? So let's see, first, um, let's see, Daniela Mercedes, tell us uh, what it's a today date, Daniela Mercedes. Hi, teacher. Um, today date is Wednesday, 9, 9th, uh, August 9th, 2023. Okay, Daniela Mercedes, very nice. So today is Wednesday, okay? Wednesday, that will be Wednesday, August the 8th, TH, right? 8. Um, no, it's not eight, it's night. My goodness, <laughs> yesterday was eight, all right? So it's ninth, okay? TH, ninth, and uh, 2023, okay? Nice. So let me know if you are here, please, Anna Cristina. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, let's see, Briseida Janet. Present. Nice. Carlos Adolfo. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good, Good evening. evening. Nice. Good night. Thank Good you, evening. mister. Um, Claudia Jesenia. Claudia. Okay, nice. Daniela Mercedes. Present, teacher. Nice, Daniela. Emanuel Efraín. Por ahí lo villa. Good evening, teacher, everybody. Good evening. Good Thank night. you, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, let's see, Evelyn Janet. <clears throat> Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. No. Uh, let's see, Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria. No. Uh, Freddy Alberto. Present Thank you, Fred. Thank Be you, careful. Fred. See you're driving. Be careful. Nice. Uh, Glenda Lisette. I'm here, teacher. 
Nice, Miss. Iliana María. Present teacher. Nice, Iliana. Uh, Genesi. Genesi Alexandra, no la he visto. Present. Ah, uh, it's there. Nice. Thank you, Miss. Um, Jefferson, Alexander. Jefferson, no. Uh, Jorge Mauricio. Present teacher. Nice. Jocelyn Tatiana. Nice, Jocelyn, I see you are there. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Nice, good evening. Kevin Ariel. Kevin, creo que ya no murió. Eh, Luis Miguel, I see you are there, Luis Miguel. I'm here. My goodness, Luis Miguel, let me ask you what happened with your camera. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I have some issues, but I'm trying to resolve. Okay, okay. The thing is that you were very active, you know, the, the very, at the very beginning, the very first date. So now I, I, I don't know why you don't have your camera, but try to fix it, okay? No problem. The important is that you are there. Thank you, uh, Luis Miguel. Uh, let's see, uh, Rachel Stair. Rachel Stair. Rachel, no. Um, Rebecca Paola. Present teacher. Nice. Ronald and Rafael. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening, sir. Nice. Roxana Mariel. Ma I'm sorry, Marisol. <laughs> Present teacher. <laughs> nice, Roxana. Sandra Noemi. Present teacher. Nice, Sandra. Eh, I'm Sarah Veronica that it's not here anymore. So, mm -hmm. bueno. So we have a couple of absences now, but we are going to um, validate the attendance, you know, one more time at the end. My goodness, it's really hot, right? So I'm sweating. And I don't know why, but it's really, really hot. I don't know whether you, but here in um, Quesaltepeque, I'm in Quesaltepeque now. So it is extremely hot, okay? So for me, quizás en la calle estuviera con la clase, pero no me van a escuchar ustedes, pero right here inside it's my goodness okay it's terrible the weather but that's the way it is right now raining i don't know where you are but right here it doesn't look like que no parece que vaya a llover pero bueno so let's uh share the screen let me share it really quick right here and uh we are going to stop right where we stopped yesterday, and this is what we have, the demonstratives, one and ones, okay? So the same story as what we know, right? One is uh, plural and the other one is singular, right? And I remember that yesterday I, I told you that uh, we are going to use this expression like to emphasize, right? We when we emphasize something in a question or it can be in a sentence, okay? Which one do you prefer? Oh, I prefer the yellow ones. I prefer the big ones, okay? If they are plural, right? I prefer the, um, the green one, okay? Uh, if it is singular, right? Look at the, the examples that we have right here. How much is this necklace? Oh, that necklace, which one? Okay, how much is this one? That one, the blue one, okay? So I don't know if you are able to see, then do not try to translate, okay? Like into Spanish, because sometimes it doesn't make sense or it sounds like um, redundant expression, right? So take it as, a, as it is in English, right? How much are these earrings? So this one says plural, right? Uh, how much are those earrings? How much are which ones? Okay, so how much are, right? Plural. And uh, the yellow ones. So that means that we can use these demonstratives, uh, as I mentioned before, for questions and also for 
sentences, right? So, and we have the price right here, but that is extra info. So, um, in Spanish, we use these expressions, right? Um, el blanco, el, el amarillo, el celeste. So that's what we do in Spanish, right? So in this case, the translation, it is exactly the same. So no hay como otra traducción que se le agregue. ¿Cuál? Aquí como que yo le diga, ¿cuál? ¿Cuáles? Ok. So usted me está diciendo, mira, me gustan esos zapatos y hay un montón ahí, right? Usted dice... Pero, hey, ¿cuál es vos? Si sí, hay un montón, right? So, which ones? Okay. So, that would be the, the, the translation, right? So, what else we have right here? Prices. Okay. I don't know if you know the dollar sign, right? So, that's what we have in Spanish, right? Right. We have dollars. So, uh, $42, $59.99. Uh, or 95, I'm sorry, 95 cents. Okay. So, Creo que aquí ya usted conoce, right? How the, you pronounce the numbers and that's the way we mention prices, okay? Usted le pregunta a alguien, mira en una tienda X, right? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Okay, in English, right? How much is it? Or how much are the shoes or how much is whatever you're talking, right? So the price, okay? There are two ways. It says right here that we can use, it says, uh, $59.95 or $59.95. So normally we use the second one, right? It's like full info, full details, it's complete, okay? So prices, creo que ahí no hay donde perderse. So let's complete the activity, okay? Complete the conversation says right here. Then uh, practice with a partner. <gasps> My goodness, what I did. Oh my goodness, que hice aquí, permítanme que. Dios mío. Let me stop sharing. Espérenme, vamos a dejar de compartir porque no sé qué le hice aquí a esta cuestión. Se me oscureció la pantalla. My God. So, sorry for this, pero para que vean que aquí estamos en vivo y a todo color. No sé qué le hice, pero bueno, aquí está. A ver si. So, let me share the screen one more time. Okay, so it says right here that we are going to complete, right? Complete these uh, conversations. We will do it in, in, in advance, right? So the una lo vamos a hacer. So you are going to complete the, there are some questions and also there are some sentences, right? So let's see if we can do it, right? Uh, Janessi, number one, you are letter eight and Carlos Adolfo, please uh, do the letter B. Okay, so number one is the example, Janice. Just read it, okay? Um, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Uh, which one do you mean? Uh, no, the, the light one. Which, which ones? Oh, uh -huh. these ones. This one, no? Oh, uh, Remember? Ah, the, 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 but those are Mm -hmm. 59.95 Almost 16 Are you kidding me? Okay, nice So remember this is plural, right? This is plural So it says uh, Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Okay, jeans says plural in English, right? So, uh, which ones it is, right? Do you mean these? Okay, in este caso, hay, hay una imagen, right? 
So we have a picture right here and they are really close. Did you remember in the module anterior, anterior, vieron el uso del these, that, these, and those, right? So that means that you know when you have something near to you or something far from you. In this case, they are really close. They are basically touching, right, the gyms. So in that case, it's really closed. So it says, um, which ones uh, do you mean? These, right? Plural, but closed. Uh-huh, plural and closed. No, the light blue ones with S. Oh, um, they are, okay, aquí podríamos, uh, they are, okay. So they are uh, $59.95, almost $60. Are you kidding? So what is the expression, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's a question, right? But it's you need to sounds like surprising. Ajá, uh -huh, como 60 pesos, los right? so, haya caros, En esa pregunta, teacher, es cuando uno en una parte está como las entonaciones, ese es hacia arriba, ¿verdad? Are you kidding? O are you uh -huh. kidding? No, hacia arriba, ¿verdad? La entonación. Y yeah. tiene un ejercicio de eso, de entonación. Okay, yeah. In this case, remember normally questions at the end, right? If it's a question, you need to do the uh, intonation at the end. Are you kidding? Right? So are you kidding? So es, y en este caso, pues la pregunta es como en español, ¿verdad? Está hablando en serio, o sea, 60 pesos, right? So are you kidding? So that is uh, the question from the customer, we will say, right? So probably she's the seller. And the lady right here is the customer, right? And okay. she thinks that they are expensive, right? So now this is something different because the bags, the backpacks right here, or the, um, the school bags are far from the customer, right? So it's basically pointing, right? So uh, let's see. Um, Luis Miguel, nice to see that you are there. Okay, nice. So just because Luis Miguel is with camera, so you are number two, letter eight. And let's see, um, Claudia, Yesenia, just because of your cat, you are letter B. <laughs> okay. Um. Let me think. I'm not sure, but for me is that I like that backpack over there. Uh -huh. And the question continue. Oh. Uh, how much is it? Which one? Uh, the red one. It's 27 and 49 cents, but the green one is only 22 and 25 cents. Okay, let me see it, please. Okay, perfect. So the red one, like you said, mira, orange, right? <laughs> but well, so let's see. I see it like orange. I don't see red there. But it says, uh, I like that. That is a singular and it's far, right? Si estuviera tocando la this, right? Porque it's just one. So he's referring just to one. We have more than one, but he's talking just to one backpack, okay? I like that, a backpack over there. How much is it? Which one? Okay, without S, singular. The red one, okay, it's $27.49, but the green one can be, right? The green one, it's only $22.25. Okay, let me see it, please. Okay, nice. So I guess this is not something complicated, right? So what you need to take care of this is uh, consider if this one is uh, plural or singular, okay? If it is plural, you need to add yes, and if it is singular, you will say um, that this is a, um, 
um, without the S, right, singulars. So uh, we have these useful expressions, okay? So when we are talking about pricings, right? So when you are in a, a store, you are in the mall and you are you know, shopping whatever uh, item or product, so we have these expressions, okay? Oh, that's cheap, right? That's reasonable, 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 okay? No me voy a decir reasonable, right? So reasonable, that's reasonable. That's okay, not bad, or that's expensive, right? So those are common expressions that we use when we are talking about pricings, okay? About the, the items, okay? So I don't know if we are clear in this part, creo que aquí no hay donde perderse, right? So yo le digo, how much, how much is it, okay? So let me see if, if we have an and, and a picture right here about pricing. Um, let's see. Deje ver. Aquí la clave es este, los numbers, right? So if you don't know numbers, so we are in troubles, porque cuando usted me dice one dollar, two cents, it's okay, pero imagínese un producto que valga mil doscientos dólares, so one thousand two hundred dollars, right? So numbers are important. Y eso pues. Um, deje ver. Se supone que ya usted pues maneja, right, numbers. So veamos, veamos por aquí está este. Se me fue la imagen que yo tenía por acá, pero vamos a ver otra. My goodness. No, 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 no quiere cargar esto. Sorry. Vamos a ver este, permítame. Well, this this is um, it's not from Salvador prices, but let's see if it works. Solo deje ver si carga porque es un video. No. Ya había cargado esta cuestión, pero. Fin. So, let's see. So, this is something different, okay? It's not the one that I select before, pero mi modo este vamos a ver que se parece. So let me share the screen one more time. It's loading, but let's see. So the price is right, that's the, that's the game. So let's see if I can make it bigger. So, sorry, this is not the one que yo había seleccionado, pero eh, mi modo, no me cargo el otro. So let's see how much. It says Pampers, disposable diapers, super packs, okay? So this is like guessing, okay? So they are not Salvadorian prices, okay? Para los que saben de Pampers, pero this is not a Salvadorian game, right? So we are going to guess, okay? What I want is practice the the numbers, right? Practice, okay? Let's see, Emmanuel Efrain, you look like probably you you are an expert about prices, about pampers, right? So how okay. much do you think they are, the pampers? It uh, says 96 diapers, it's like a box, right? 
How option D, you... teacher. Okay, say the number, please. Uh, this one, 27.99. Okay, $27.99. Cents. Okay. okay. Cents. Cuando usted pregunta el precio, le dice, ah, mire, le cuesta $20.50. Right? So, $27.99. So, yeah, you're right. My goodness, you're an expert, Efraín. So, ¿cuántos pampers ha tenido que comprar? <laughs> okay, nice. Let's see the next one. So remember, this is guessing, okay? Si usted no sabe el precio, usted diga cualquiera, right? So now what we have right here, this is a brush with stamp. My goodness, this is a bottle, it says right here, right? Oxo bottle, my goodness. So let's see, vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día. Ana Cristi, Ana Cristina, so how much? Do you think it's this brush with stamp? Five dollars, five, ten dollars. Five, ten dollars, my goodness. For five or ten, the us see this. <laughs> um, uh, five, five dollars, ten cents. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Okay, five dollars, uh, ten cents, okay. I was think it's more, but let's see. No, that's too cheap, okay? Remember, this is US, okay? It's $7.99, okay? But this is guessing, okay? Yo lo que quiero que diga los números, es no importa lo que valga la cuestión, right? So, uh, let's see, the next one, this is, a, it says right here, this is a crane drop ultrasonic cool mist. Humidifier, you humidifier. My goodness, that sounds kind of expensive, right? So, sabe que es eso, verdad? So, especially if you have babies, so you can put it in the room, and that will help if if you have like um, problems with your kid or if it is sick, right? Let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día. Quiero ver. Ya todos los que tienen cámara ya le preguntamos, pero bueno, vamos al second round. Uh, Iliana, Mariel, what do you think about the price? I think it's the letter D, uh, $60.99. Perfect, $60.99? No, my goodness, it's cheaper than it's $49.99, almost 50, right? So let's see the next one. That will be for Daniela Mercedes. My goodness, this is a Spooty Pacifier event. So this is a nice brand. So my goodness, everything it's about babies, right? So <laughs> if you don't have babies, you don't know. But if you have babies, you know which is that this is a, an amazing brand, right? A band. So, aha, uh -huh. Daniela Mercedes, how much do you think they are? Um, well, I think it's a little C, um, $5 with a 85 cents. $5.85? No, it says. Option A, teacher. Eight, my goodness, it's cheaper, 369. Well, pero ni aun así, the babies are expensive. So this is a Skip Shop Silver Lining Club Activity Gym. So that's cute, right? So Juan Jose, I don't know if you have babies, Juan Jose, but do you have any idea how much is this activity gym for babies? No, no, I don't, baby. You don't have babies, so guess. This is guessing, right? Invente ahí el precio. $84.99. Well, expensive cents, one. Right? You're right. My goodness, <laughs> you're good. So probably you, you will be good father, right? So ya tiene la idea que caro es eso. Okay, <laughs> so let's see. This is a what? Bottle. Okay, it's a baby bottle. So... How much do you think it is, Janessi Alexandra? I don't know. Um, 
bottles. It's a small, it's just five mm -hmm. ounces. Option B. I don't know, I think. But these uh, are special ones, no son? No es pachita cualquiera, es una marca. I guess. Thirty three dollars with ninety-nine. Thirty three dollars with ninety-nine? No, it says no, oh. it says twenty two dollars ninety-nine. Oh. Okay, so it's cheaper than it's still a little expensive. But still, no, hombre. Imagínese que me toca comprar cuatro pachitas. My goodness, this is a, a single stroller. Okay, but it's also a brand. O sea, esto no crea que es pajarito. Marca, US brand. So, Juan José, how much it is? ¿Cuánto le costó a usted? $599 wow, with... 80 cents. 599 with $80. Okay, $599 with 80 cents. 80 cents. No, it's $400.99. Okay, so still expensive. 500 pesitos. I don't have baby. So, yeah, I know. I know you don't have babies, but we are guessing, right? So. Carlos oh, yeah. Adolfo, you okay. are with experience. So this is a bottle of Jav. My goodness. So this is, uh, we have many different themes inside of this uh, box. So how much do you think, Carlos Adolfo? Okay. Um, maybe can be $49 with 99 cents. I think. Okay, nice. So you, you select the cheaper one, right? The cheaper price. And you're right. Very good. Yeah. So you, you have experience, right, Adolfo, with kids. Okay, tiene como una docena. Como no vas a ver. Okay, so Luis Miguel. So try to guess. Oh, you look so cute. They are three pack, okay? Sucks, but they are three packs. So how much do you think, uh, Luis Miguel? I don't know, but I need someone. <laughs> okay, okay. But this is for kids, right? It's not for adults. It's the baby. Baby, it sucks. Option A, teacher. $12. $12. It's three packs. It's just three packs. $12. My goodness. Can be, right? I yeah. don't know why baby items. I don't know if you know, but baby themes, baby, baby items are really expensive. So, no hay ganga tener un bebé en estos dorados tiempos, right? No, so, no. So, no. It's really expensive. It is, right? It is really expensive, especially if it's milk, okay? Botecito de lechita, 40 pesitos, right? Just for three dates. So, if you have babies, you know. If you don't have babies, mejor así está bien, right? So, Luis Miguel, $12. Yes. Okay. No, it's oh. not. They are cheaper than. My goodness, $8, but still, ocho pesos, tres parcitos de calcetines de chichi. Expensive, mm -hmm. right? So now we have um, this is a body soup. This is a pack for five pack this is a five pack so how much vamos a ver le vamos a preguntar a las niñas las niñas saben vamos a ver Ana Cristina how much do you think um, it's the price for this the body suit okay I think option C uh, 24 uh, 95 cents 24 dollars 95 cents you're right you see Las niñas saben. Aunque no tenga baby, uno tiene la idea porque uno lleva la mente aquí. Man. Especially if this is money, right? So let's see. Uh, silicone bead. So these ones are the baveros, right? That's what we, we call it in Spanish, right? So, ajá, uh -huh, let's see. Vamos a ver otra lady. Uh, Claudia Yesenia, what do you think? This is a two pack, okay? These two beads. 
letter C, $41.03. Okay, $41.03. No, it says no. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, they so, are cheaper, but cheaper. $25? Just for okay, these two bits, mejor le, pon le ponemos un trapito en vez de pagar mm -hmm. $25. Pesos. <laughs> El mismo okay. diaper que le pone. Verdad, no, pues sí, en, en El Salvador we have to. So this is an earth mama calming. My goodness, this is above baby wash, okay? Baby wash. So, Ileana Maria, how much is it is? Do you, how much do you think it is? Uh, I think it's 90, no, 29 dollars, 30 cents. Maybe. Okay, a letter A, right? 29, 30 cents. No. <gasps> My goodness, it's muy caro. $40, <laughs> okay? $40, sí que. Le digo que los bebés salen muy caros. So, what happened? Con esto ya no me cruzó aquí. My goodness, probably this is my internet connection, right? So deje ver, voy a dejar de sharing and I will consider that is my internet connection. Pero bueno, so we are going to stop over there because of the time, right? So no quiero que vaya a traumar y no, ya no quiera no los bebés. Okay, <laughs> so uh, let me uh, share the screen one more time and we are going to move on one more time into the manual, okay? So, let's see if si logran ver mi pantalla, right? Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, so we have right here something different about materials, okay? So, uh, this is just vocabulary, but it's good, okay? Since you are learning English, you need to know all the materials, like the ones that we know in Spanish, right? So, usted en español sabe de materiales. Ah, mire este plástico, madera, cartón, hierro, verdad? Plata, oro, bronce, right? So, you know the materials in Spanish, right? So, we have materials in English as well. So, let's see. We have cotton, we have rubber, gold, silk. Uh, liter, silver, plastic, and wood. There are more. Okay, so what is cotton? Let's see. Let's associate it in ones. Okay, look at the items that we have right here. And let's see, what do you think that can be uh, cotton? Let's see, Janessi, Alexandra, choose one of the items. Voy a hacer un poco más pequeño porque si no, no se alcanza a ver todo, pero ahí. Okay, so, uh huh. The uh, number, number three, I think is a, a tie. Mm -hmm. Or it could be the socks. No. Mm -hmm. I was consider socks, right? No, Gold. socks are wool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I think. Oh, it's yeah, this is wool. So, what is cotton right here? Uh, I think it's the tie. It's Which shirt? one? Shirt. The number six. Number six. We have a cotton shirt. Well, veamos, dejémoslo ahí. Okay. Let's see. Um, Carlos Adolfo. Um, rubber. You know what is rubber? Rubber. It can be the the number eight boots. Okay. Yeah. That that one. Right. Rubber boots. Rubber books. Okay, the next one. Uh, let's see, Luis, Miguel. Gold. An easy one, right? Gold. Yes, but I imagine that I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gold ring. Okay, this one, right? El oro, el oro que brilla, right? Oh, a gold brilliant. ring. Okay, and then we have silk. Uh, let's see, Emmanuel, Efraín, what do you think about silk? Silk. Uh, maybe um, the number seven earrings. Yeah, can be, right? So what is silk in Spanish? We have it, right? Um, seda. Seda. 
seda. Seda. Okay. So I will say that will be letter number three, right? A type because of the type of, I don't know. So in this case, uh, Ephraim, so we will say that probably number three, uh, seal tight. Okay, porque es okay. una tela suave, right? Como okay. peludita, dice, una, una tela así como suave. Okay, so Daniela Mercedes, leader, which do you think that can be the item? Leader, um, a little leader jacket. Okay, that will be right. So it's una, una tela ya más dis, distinta, right? Cuero, dice uno, como de cuero, así dice Roy. Mm -hmm. So uh, the next one, Claudia Yesenia, silver. Number uh, seven, silver earrings. earrings. Okay, earrings. so that will be the similar to the gold, right? So no puedo decir opposite porque creo que no son opuestos. Este vale más, right? So gold and silver. And plastic. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Juan Jose, plastic. Ah, plastic is the example. This is the plastic bracelet. So the last one, Juan Jose, wool. Uh, socks. Okay, so what is wool in Spanish? Uh, lana. Lana, right? So which other material do you know? Que no está ahí, pero existe. Wool. Wool, okay, madera, verdad? Yes. What else? Que otro material do you know? Glass. Glass, okay, can be glass. Eh, also, Como se dice este? Steel. Steel. Okay. So, concrete. Okay. It's also a, it's also a, a material. Let me share with you a picture. I have it right here. So, déjeme que lo encuentre. Esta está bien completo. Está de más. Espéreme, espéreme, espéreme. ¿Dónde está? Que este no se mira bien. Wool, oh, plastic, metal, glass. Paper. It's also a material. So déjeme, le, al final le voy a mandar porque no me están cargando. Yo creo que Es mi internet el que no me carga acá las, las questions. Eh, so, I will send it into, into the WhatsApp group. Tengo una, una, una lista de materiales bien bonita. Pero no, no me abre ahorita los documents esto. So, probably it's my internet. So, but we have more. Okay, so let's see the last. Okay, we have 10 more minutes. Okay, uh, which one do you prefer? This is the name of the conversation, right? So, which one? do you prefer? So this is the conversation between Anne and Zoo and the Claire right here. So three persons right here. So it says, uh, look, let's get bigger. Look, um, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? Um, I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the little one better. It's more stylish than the wood one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $400.99. Would you like to try it on? Mm, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway, you're welcome. Okay, so definitely the problem right here is the price, right? It's not that. It's not a good one because it's better. She preferred that one, but because of the price, mejor ni me la pruebo, dice, right? So, Luis Miguel, go ahead. Yes, I have a question. 
Go ahead. How, how do you pronounce uh, Lona? Lona. Yes. Uh, this one right the, here? No. Uh, in my notebook, I wrote Denning, but I don't know what is the correct pronunciation. Okay, let me see right here. Lona. Put it in the chat, the word, please. Okay. Because it's his. Lona. It's something like that. Dang it. My previous is... teachers told me that is the translation is de la vaquera. Ah, okay, so es sí. Okay, pero ya ese es el el el. Espérenme que esta cosa. Eso es ya el estilo de la tela. Por ejemplo, está el rayado. Uno dice floreado, right? So, I see, denim, 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 not denim, okay, it's like E, es una schwa, más adelante ustedes van a ver los sonidos fonéticos, right, pero en este caso es denim, okay, like yeah, an E, okay, es un, un sonido como una E, denim, okay, pero okay. es como una mezclilla, es una tela especial en este caso, no es... Este, sí, lona común, sino que es lona vaquera, dice aquí, lona vaquera. Ok. So, that, that you right, but the pronunciation is then. 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 No, um, mucho la I, no suena. La I, remember the sound is like E. Uh -huh. um, terciopelo. Terciopelo. Veamos cómo se dice el terciopelo. Velvet, <laughs> okay. So velvet. Velvet. So, mm -hmm. velvet. Th there is also a, a, a yeah. poison, que así se llama, right? So it's a terciopelado. So velvet. Mm -hmm. De hecho, el color así se llama, right? So I, así le dicen al color como vino, dice uno, velvet. Hay un cake que se llama así también, velvet cake. Ok, nice. Ok, so ya ven, so those are materials, so they are uh, familiar words that we have. So, por ejemplo, uno dice tela floreada, rayada. And those are different type of, you know, different words. Ok, so we have two more minutes okay to practice let's see Anna Cristina please be and uh, let's see Daniela Mercedes be so and Emmanuel Efrain you are declared okay so go ahead please uh, okay yo voy a hacer and sí please yeah Cristina okay. go ahead Look, this jacket is really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the good one better. The good one? Why? It looks warmer. Warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish. Then the whole one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It is a uh, for ninety nine. Would you like to try it on? Mm, no, thanks. Okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, so what is the price tag? It says there is no price tag. 
¿Qué le dice ahí? There is no price tag. Creo que es en la viñeta donde trae el precio. There you go. Ok. El okay. price tag es la viñeta, right? O sea, el sticker que normalmente usted va a comprar donde sea y usted ve el cuánto vale, ¿verdad? Para no andar preguntando, mire, ¿y esto qué vale? Mire, ¿y esto? O sea, le ponen ahí el, el papelito, right? So, en este caso es una viñeta porque es ropa, es diferente. So, that is the price tag. Ok. So, which one do you prefer? Prefer? No. Ok. Preferred. Ok. Prefer. Which one do you prefer? Oh, I prefer the, I like the wool one better. Ok. So, uh, stylish. Ok. Stylish. Ok. Esta palabra, ¿qué quiere decir? It's more stylish than the wool one. Stylish. Estilo. Tiene más estilo que el de que el otro de ¿cómo se llama? De lana. Uh -huh. No, es okay. lana. Lana, lana. Uh -huh. So stylish es como más estilizada si decimos la traducción así textual, pero en palabras nuestras, o sea, tiene más estilo, pues se ve mejor, como que usted esté escogiendo como a mí, mira. Este se ve mejor, right? So, se ve que va más stylish, right? Va más con el estilo, va contigo, right? So, that's the way. So, um, at the end, so the price is the problem, right? So, I don't know if you get the idea, pero, o sea, le gusta este, pero cuando oye el precio, ya no le gusta, ¿verdad? O sea, that's too expensive, right? So, that is the, the conversation about, right? So um, I have just one minute and I need to validate the attendance, okay? So déjeme nada más mencionar acá los que no tienen asistencia, okay? Deje ver dónde están. Okay, so let's see. Let me know if you are here. Evelyn Janet. Evelyn. Okay, thank you, Miss Flor de María. Flor de María, no está. Jefferson Alexander. Jefferson Alexander. Kevin Ariel. Rachel Esther. Rachel Esther. And Sara Verónica. So, no. Okay, so, you know, if I didn't mention your name, it's because you already have the attendance from the very beginning, okay? So, okay. appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being in the class today. And you know that we have classes the whole week, right? So, tomorrow we do have class and also on Friday. So, I hope to see you tomorrow. Please complete your homework, okay, your activities in the platform. Do not forget that that is your passing score, right? So appreciate it. Thank you for everything. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, now, bye-bye. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye-bye.